All right, here's a here's a good idea. Um, if you're transitioning transitioning between songs or vamping or on 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 a certain chord, um, and you just wanna sort of get them some sort of sustained sound and be the uh, well, you'll get the gist of what it sounds like and uh, you'll see how it's achieved. Let's do it on a C chord. Um, so let's say the song ended, right? Now what we're going to be leveraging is the second inversion of the C. So if we're here, first inversion, second inversion. And what we're going to do is we're going to remove the middle finger from that. We're going to left, be left with the G, with a G and the E here and what we're going to do is uh, we're going to go to an F uh, so, the song ended and I'm maintaining the same distance here and it works well everywhere and let me explain why that is Every position I'm in, so here I'm pretty much doing the C, but when I come here, what is this uh, relative to the F chord? Well, I have an E here and I have a G here. How do they work in an F chord? Uh, an E and a G in an F chord? Is that possible? Well, sure. There goes your F major ninth. What happens if I come down here? So I have F6 here. Well, how about here, the C and the E? Well, just an F major 7th. What about here? Well, here, um, I have the 6. So the E goes in... Uh, sorry. Let me see. I have the D for a 6. This guy out here uh, gives me the eleventh. Um, so I covered the, covered that, I covered that, that. This one obviously you have the F. A little more of a challenge, but that also works as an eleven and a two. Um, anyway, each of them have a place in there. <laughs> 